Mm. For good paneer, we need to use the whole milk. With nice onions and everything, we're going to blend it and I'm going to show you how to make a fantastic gravy. We're going to use this to make the curry also. Then your curry will be tasting very nice and rich. Tear open the roti and dip in this gravy. This paneer will literally melt in your mouth. Mm. Finger licking good. Namaste, Salam Walaikum, Sasriyakal. Welcome back to another session with your washchef at Vareva.com. And today, you know, we're going to make another paneer into nice shy kind of gravy. For this, first we're going to make paneer. We're going to add milk. Bring the milk to a nice boil. When the milk is nice boiling, that's when we can curdle the milk. For good paneer, we need to use the whole milk. You know, if you use skim milk, your paneer will be like cardboard. Never. You want to eat, eat two piece less paneer, but use whole milk paneer. That will be very nice, soft, juicy and tasty. When the milk comes to boil, switch off the flame. Now, we're going to add some souring agent. Whether you want to use vinegar, you can also use lime juice. But this much lime may not be sufficient to curdle the entire thing. So while it is, milk is still, you know, simmering, I'm going to add some lime juice. No, this is uh, slowly curdling, but not enough. Here I've got brown vinegar. Add little bit and then mix. Give it a little bit time and the milk will start separating. pH value here as it changes the milk will start curdling. Now you can see the milk is uh, all curdling and it is separating. But do not add too much of uh, vinegar or anything otherwise it will not be good. We are going to transfer this into a cloth, muslin cloth and make our own paneer. You know, a lot of people, because they want the taste to go well into the paneer, they will add herbs or whatever they want. But if you make the paneer good, even the gravy will go in. So the technique is do not put too much weight on paneer. You need to have some pores there so that the juices go in there and make your paneer really tasty. Put all the solids and the milk. We are not going to throw this water away. That is come out of the milk is called whey. Look at this. Beautiful and we are going to use this to make the curry also then your curry will be tasting very nice and rich Lot of people they don't use this water but this water will make your dish very very tasty So the second thing you need to do is slowly tighten this Look at this I am just putting some more weight and then you will start seeing the water will start coming out from the others directions So a lot of people they put too much weight No even this little bit weight is enough. If you want, just press it with the hand one time like this and then let it go for 15 minutes. When it cools down, you will have a very good paneer. If you put too much weight, the pores will not be there and you want that pores so that the juices can go in. After which we are going to cut this paneer into pieces and we are going to make it into a very nice gravy and uh, with nice onions and everything, we are going to blend it and I am going to show you how to make a fantastic gravy. Here in a pan, we are going to add some oil and then we are going to fry some masalas and then we are going to blend it. See, in one of the shahi gravies, whatever we make, shahi means basically rich gravies. So the content may not be rich, but the quality you will feel very rich the way we do. So here at the end of it, we are going to blend everything and then we are going to have a very silky gravy. So for this, we are going to add uh, some red chilli in this. In this, we are going to add some whole garam masala. I have a bay leaf, cinnamon stick, cloves and uh, one black cardamom. And in this, we are going to slowly saute them. Now you can already see some of the nice flavor from these chillies is coming into the oil. Now in this, we are going to add the cashew nut. Fry the cashew nut little bit in this onion. You want the onions to be slightly colored. Once the onions are slightly colored, you will get a very nice taste. When we do in the hotel, we kind of uh, fry the onions till they are slightly colored. So in this, add some salt and slowly cook these onions till they get very nice uh, slight color. Once the onions are slightly getting colored, in this we are going to add uh, some ginger garlic paste, some turmeric, we are going to also add some tomatoes. All these things have to be simmered slowly. We are going to do that by adding the water from the paneer. Look at this water from the paneer. Add this water and simmer till most of the water is evaporated and these tomatoes and these things get nicely mashed up. Keep 
cooking this and you will get a very nice concentrated flavor. A little bit of sourness will be added with this water because we added a little bit lime juice and vinegar but that is fine. So I think I can use up all the paneer water. This is what will give the real taste. When we make the chicken curries in the hotel, we add chicken stock to the chicken curries also which will give nice taste and when you add this water from the paneer, your dish will be like almost 10 times better tasting and very nice and rich. The whole thing is uh, condensed and this is all perfect. We're going to let this slightly cool down and then we're going to put it in a blender. And we're going to blend all of this into a fine paste and then we're going to make a gravy and it's going to be very tasty. Do not put the entire hot liquid, just remove off the onions and the, all the masalas, slightly let it cool, then make a paste of this. That way, you know, if you put the hot liquid in the blender, you know, it will spill on you. You have to be very careful when you're working in the kitchen, especially with hot liquids. Look at this, the paneer is uh, perfect. This paneer is nice and soft. We're going to cut them into small pieces. Look at this. This paneer is fresh. The recipe you make with this, the dish will taste just fantastic. Since we put less weight on this, the paneer will also be nice spongy. It will not break also because this is freshly made and this is perfect. If you do not make this perfectly or you leave it in the fridge for some time, it can get uh, you know kind of uh, crumbly. The gravy is also nice ready. Even that uh, masalas, we strained it so well that uh, whatever the leftover we throw away and this is nice and silky. Now in this, we are going to add some butter. This is how it gets the richness. When the butter melts, in this we are going to add the powders. Here, the coriander powder, some cumin seed powder. In this, we are going to add the paste. This has got all the beautiful things, but this is better. It is nice, silky. When do we do these kind of preparations in the hotel? When they have special guests, VVIP kind of customers, we make special orders for them. And in this, we are going to add the water that the paneer way whatever was there in this we add and then we're going to slowly simmer it this is already become a very nice gravy very tasty one later we're going to adjust the seasoning in this i'm going to bring this to a nice boil simmer it we're going to add the kasuri methi flavoring if you want to add cream and that's it this gravy is uh, you know slightly thickening and whatever the froth like thing will go away in a while in this we're going to add the Kasuri methi, the spices, everything have to be added, just appropriate. That should be good. This flavor is amazing. We did not make the paneer butter masala or whatever. We made a very simple shy kind of preparation that to using onion, tomatoes and some cashew. But, you know, we use the paneer water because of which this has become super tasty. I'm going to reduce the flame a little bit and then slowly you will see this butter or something like this forming on top. In this, we're going to add this homemade paneer. Immediately, the juices will be observed by this paneer because this is freshly made paneer and that's when this is going to be tasty. With this, you can have, you know, rice, roti or anything, but make something special because this is that special. Homemade paneer with nice gravy. This is just out of the world and a little bit salt if you want to add cream on the top later you can but i'm going to let this simmer like this for another four five minutes and the dish is ready you know you made a lot of things but make paneer like this in this gravy and look at the nice silkiness this is just way too perfect and because of the richness of the milk its juices basically we curdled the milk we condensed the everything into this gravy Along with this, you know, have a nice uh, naan with a little bit butter on it. You know, you can enjoy shirmal and all those kind of rich rotis. Tear open the roti and dip in this gravy. This paneer will literally melt in your mouth. Mm. It's got the natural, beautiful taste. We did not add the color, anything. I definitely, I've used begedi chilies, which naturally gives some color. This paneer is awesome mm. when you make little effort your curries will be super tasty dear friends all i say is make good food at home use some techniques of using stock in a lot of countries they don't make any of the curry sauces without stocks that's when 
they get very nice, rich and full flavorful. Even this is lot more, like 10 times more better than paneer butter masala or any of those things. Make it and keep licking your fingers because this is so good. Mm, absolutely amazing. Finger licking good and dear friends, please make this. Make this at home the way I have shown and write down your comments how it came. So, do not forget to share this video on WhatsApp, Facebook and all that and keep saying Vareva! Va.